Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now if you followed my vlog you'll see that I've been on a mission recently to try and reduce the amount of plastic that I use in the garden. So today is the first day of my Gardening Without Plastic mission. So we're off to the greenhouse and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to achieve that. Come on! So over the past year or so, I've been becoming increasingly concerned with the amount of plastic that I'm using in the garden, both at home and also in my designs. So last year, I spent a lot of time talking to a number of people about alternatives to plastic in the garden, such as plastic pots, plastic plant labels, and all sorts of other bits and bobs that we kind of take for granted and use a lot. So this vlog series set here in my really bright new greenhouse is gonna show you a number of alternatives. Now it's going to be completely open-ended, I have no idea how this will turn out, they may work fantastically well, others may not work as well. So it's completely honest, it's unbiased, I've got in touch with a number of companies and I will walk you through the offerings that they provided. So I'm going to try and grow all my own stuff this year without the need for single-use plastic. Now there's going to be certain things such as buckets, watering cans and pens that are going to be made of plastic. But they're hopefully reusable. And the plastics I'm talking about are the black plastic pots and all the different pots that come with plants that usually either get forgotten about in a shed somewhere or simply go to landfill. Now if you've not watched my other video on the issue with recycling pots, I suggest you go back and watch that now because that will lead into this set of videos and will give you a better understanding of why gardening without plastic is going to be so, so important. So I'm going to show you some of the pots now. I think Barry's having a bit of a nightmare down there chasing a spider. So let's get going. So the items I'm going to show you are here on my wooden potting bench. No plastic again. The first one I'm going to show you are these and I'll do a close up. So these are Koya plant pots and they've been provided by the Natural Gardening Company. Now these are made of coconut husk and the idea is that you can plant into them using uh, seed compost, regular compost um, and then leave the plants in there until they're the required size and you've hardened them off and then you can literally plant these directly in the soil, they will break down and leave no trace. Now, I know you're going to say that the UK doesn't have a huge supply of natural coconut trees. So they have been shipped from around the world, but I'm going to give you a whole selection of products with the advantages and drawbacks. But I think these are a really good alternative if you ignore the carbon footprint of what we can do with recycling materials. And maybe in the future, things like um, recycled doormats could be used to create coil pots with a smaller carbon footprint. So they're the option one. They also come in these absolutely cute, tiny little seedling sizes. Option two are these. They look similar, but if you look up close, and I'll do another close up, these are called cow pots, and they've come from the United States. Again, quite a long carbon footprint, but there's a company that create them out of cow dung, which just sounds like a fantastic idea of recycling waste into something really beneficial. Now again, you can plant directly into these, depending on the size of your plant or your seedling, you can pot on into them and whenever you're ready you literally plant the whole thing outside in a pot or you can decant it and then just compost the pot. So we're going to trial those as well and see how the seedlings do. We've then got the tried and tested method of using wooden seed trays. Now I used these last year to plant some seedlings up and they were fantastic. Um, they last for years, you can clean them out and they warm up quickly. They are more expensive than plastic, but I'll be showing you exactly how to use those in the next set of videos. We're then also going for kind of the do-it-yourself model, which I'm going to be using toilet rolls here to plant up seedlings. I'm also going to be using cardboard egg boxes, such as this one, as both a seed tray and a little seed pod where we're planting. I'll show you those as well. And then also, which I've not really seen before, maybe you'll correct me, um, be using cardboard tissue boxes that I'll cut in half to create my own seed trays. So the next set of videos is going to show exactly how I'm going to use these um, and I'm going to show you the progress of all the plants from my exploding atom garden. So 
So there we have it, my 2019 pledge to garden without plastic. Now there's been a few companies that have supplied these parts, but no one's paying me, I'm not getting sponsored, and I'm gonna give you the honest truth about whether these work and are worth the time and effort. There's also homemade options that you can do at home. So if you can, why not tag along with me, start sewing your own, and let me know on social media how you're getting on at home. I've been Garden Ninja. If you like this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel where there's gonna be loads more gardening without plastic, garden design, hints, tips, and hacks. Happy gardening.